I want to bring in our Poppy Harlow. Poppy, how does bankruptcy work for an entire city? Well, it has to be approved by a judge uh, through a Chapter 9 bankruptcy filing. But this is, this is enormous. This is the largest municipality ever in the history of this country, Jake, to file for bankruptcy. I just got off the phone with Bill Nowling. He is the, the press secretary for, uh, for Kevin Orr, who is the financial emergency manager in Detroit. He ostensibly took control of the city back in March when the governor of Michigan put him in, in charge. And uh, Bill Nowling told me at 4.06 p.m. today... The governor, along with the emergency manager of Detroit, filed officially for Chapter 9 bankruptcy uh, protection. Uh, this is a little sooner than we expected. We were hearing rumblings it could happen tomorrow, but it came today. As you said, this is a city that is $18 billion in debt. This has been decades in the making. Why did this happen? A lot of reasons. The population there has been declining precipitously. You've got a city of one and a half million people in 1950 to 700,000 today. Uh, that means fewer people paying taxes, the downfall of the auto industry, very poor tax collection, collection, corruption in government. So many things have added up to this. But what this is going to mean now is that if they are approved and have an exit from bankruptcy, it gives them the power to pay their creditors back a lot less, to cut down pension and health care benefits for city workers. So it's going to hurt. But it also means that Detroit can eventually, the hope is, get back on their feet. Jake. All right, Bobby Harlow, thank you so much. An astounding turn of events in Detroit, declaring bankruptcy today. Thank you so much.